guys, this strategy, when I tell you, your, your mind is going to be blown, okay? You're going to watch this video, and you're going to feel the, the, just the inner need to find my Venmo, comment in the video description, what is your Venmo, so I can send you like $5,000, because it's amazing, I know, but please, just hold back the Venmo request, all right? <laughs> this strategy is seriously something I'm so excited to share with you all, because it does so many different things in one. One, it's very simplistic. You can literally find a setup almost every single day. Now, again, almost every single day, okay? Not every day almost every single day, but you can also, if you're a very, very beginner trader trying to learn the ropes, you, it, you practice market structure, you practice patience and discipline. You don't over trade because it's almost impossible to, unless you're literally just going crazy. It's, it's very hard to over trade this strategy because there's only like one setup a day that it presents to you. Like there's so many different things in one that this strategy does. So I'm really excited to share this with you. So without further ado, let's get to the chart and I'm going to show you exactly what this is. Also real quick, I have a private discord that I am contemplating opening it up to the public because I have had a lot of DMs asking, Hey Austin, I would love to do like one-on-one -on -one sessions. I'd love to just you know, constantly share my charts with you and, you know, talk about stuff. So if you are interested in that comment down below, I'm interested and I will, you know, gauge what the interest is within this video and see, okay, maybe in the near future, maybe in a couple of weeks, I'll open the discord up to the public. Okay, so the asset we are looking at is natural gas. Now I'm looking at natural gas futures on Black Bull because this price is like the most close representation of the price that I trade on my prop firm with Crypto Fund Trader. But again, there's a bunch of different charts out there. This is the one that I found to correlate the most with how I trade. Now, like I said, guys, this is literally the most, like it's very hard to actually mess up this strategy. I think it's actually harder to mess up this strategy than it is to understand and learn this strategy. So without further ado, let's get into it. So all we're doing, because natural gas I have found, and I these are live trades I'm about to show you of trades that I actually took. I have found that more often than not in the London session, okay, and that's this green box here. And if you wanna get this, literally just search sessions, uh, sessions on chart. So if you type in sessions on chart, it's this one by here about Arox or whatever. And I just turned the Tokyo and Sydney off because all I'm caring about is the London and New York session for natural gas, okay? During the London session, natural gas loves to create a channel. It just, it, it does this almost every single morning. Again, you're going to see examples later in this video of when not to do this tra trades. I'm going to show you false signals. I'm going to show you all this stuff in this video. Okay. I want to take care of you. And the only thing I ask for you in return, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you find it uh, valuable and comment down below, if you really did find value in this video, because that really does help me helps the algorithm grow this new channel, all that good stuff. Okay. So when it comes to this strategy, London session always, almost always forms these channels when it comes to natural gas. And then right at market, uh, the New York session around eight o'clock AM Eastern standard time, please convert that to your local time. But uh, if you have right when this yellow session starts, wherever, whatever time frame you're in, that's when the volatility starts to pick up and just go in one singular direction with natural gas. And when it breaks this channel, that's where the setups happen. And again, this is why I say when, if you're a beginner trader, it's very hard to mess this up because as soon as it gets to around noon EST, volume starts to die down. It starts to just go sideways. So you don't really have a lot of opportunities other than just in that morning session. So I love this strategy because it complements my other trading strategies. As you all know, I do not trade um, any time other than this setup, anytime before 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time when market opens, which is around here. So I can literally get a nice win or you know, whatever, I can get a nice trade in before market session, literally every single day, almost. Now you see in this scenario, it happened a little after, but you get the point. So all we're looking for is breaks in the channel. Okay. So when you have this channel um, and this, it's creating this market structure here, we're just looking at a break. And now this is kind of a loose example. I'm going to show you some really solid examples, but this is literally today. And I don't want to I don't want you all to think I'm cherry picking trades or anything like that. So I didn't get stopped out. I took profit literally right here, right when that giant candle went down. I entered at the close of this candle and all we're looking for is literally a nice candle close below this channel. And then we're only taking one trade. That is the most simple, like the, the most crucial rule in this strategy is once you hit full take profit, you are done trading this strategy. Move on if you're trading other assets like myself, NAS, and US30. Move on to other stuff. 
but once you hit a full take profit, you're done. You don't, could there potentially be other setups? Sure, but you're done. You need to practice discipline and, and especially if you're a beginner trader, this setup allows you to practice that discipline by waiting on the setup, finding market structure and being disciplined to once you find and hit a really solid win, you're done for the day. Now, I have given myself in this statistics and everything you're about to see, only two trades a day. So for example, if I did miss this, I would give myself one more chance to get in. But if I hit full take profit, I'm done. So there's kind of like the rules. If you want to have like the rules of when to take trades and when not, if you hit full take profit, I'll say this one more time, full take profit, which is a one to five risk reward ratio. I'll show you how to do entries and all that. You are done trading. Now, if you do hit stop loss, you get one more chance in this rules. If you want to go by these statistics, you get one more chance to get in. If you get stopped out twice, you're done trading for that asset. You're done trading for the day because it will happen. No strategy is 100% perfect or anything like that, but that is what I've found to be most consistent. So all we're doing is when we take a trade, we're literally placing the stop loss uh, loosely inside of this right back in this blue area if if we have it like so far outside here or if the candle like closes like say in this example if this candle closed down here I would put it right on the top of that candle and then vice versa right under the candle if it was in a long so let's see another example so this was yesterday's trade we're literally just finding a structure that's forming from London uh, from the London session, we see here it was creating these higher highs, higher lows. We literally just take this channel tool. So there's this channel tool right here. If you just click the little drop down box, it's this one. And you're literally just finding, okay, so if we just redraw that, we're just finding higher highs and higher lows. That's all we're doing. All the way up, up until the uh, New York session. We draw that, okay, so you see that? And then we just literally drag it out until it breaks. We had a really nice clean break here. I put my stop loss right above that candle, right in that blue zone. Came back a little bit, almost hit my stop loss, but then at a 1.55 risk reward ratio, which was right there, 33 points, beautiful trade. And again, you can like, <laughs> these are all trades that I've took. And it, like I said, I got stopped out here. It's not a perfect strategy. You will take losses, but you, here's an example where you would have two chances at getting into a trade if you got stopped out. Now. Another cool trick is if you don't wanna have these unnecessary losses of letting it get all the way up to your stop loss, cause say that candle's probably big. If price comes back into drawdown and it closes back into that channel, you can kind of close a little early here to eliminate that extra loss. But you know, I found that this is the most consistent strategy. Now you're probably asking, well, Austin, why a one to five, 1 1.5 risk reward ratio when you sometimes you'll notice you'll have all these huge moves to the upside in your favor. I've noticed that 1.5 is a solid risk reward ratio with this strategy that prov provides consistent wins uh, versus trying to milk out every single win because we're just in the market early, seeing if we can get a nice win from natural gas, moving on to another asset, moving on to another setup. Let's take a look at one more before we get into some back testing results. Here's another loss example where it, it pumped up, kind of a really slow day, boom, hit the stop loss. I wanna be transparent with you guys, show both all the wins and the losses with strategy. Um, here's another one, hit, uh, broke out upside this channel, literally went long, put the stop loss right below that candle, one to five risk reward ratio, boom, take profit, smashed all the way through that. So let's get into the statistics because I don't want you all to just think I'm cherry picking trades. I don't want you all to think anything like that. Okay, and like I said at the beginning of this video, while where this is like a super beginner friendly type of strategy and I'm introducing it as such, it would be very disingenuous of me to not show data that actually backs this other than just you know cherry picking like one or two trades because anybody can do that with any strategy. So this goes all the way back to February. Now, some of this is back testing data. Some of this is forward testing data of me live trading this because obviously I discovered this probably like around the early part of May is when I started actually implementing this. And all you do is literally, like I said, one to two trades every single morning and that is it. You're done trading natural gas for the day because it doesn't give you anything else, right? So all I did was I collected every single pip count, okay? So when I use the one to five risk reward ratio, placing stop loss below the candle or above the candle of the entry candle that closed and then putting my profit until it gets to a 1.5 risk reward ratio, that's where I'm getting all of these pips that either won or lost. So again, it does have losing days and that's where you have to practice that mental discipline to not over trade or not go crazy when you are trying to learn how to trade, especially using a strategy. And it just moves very well on most of the breakouts. So after collecting all this data, I added all of the pips up to 
you know, uh, this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you can see like what are the best days to trade this and what are the worst days statistically to trade this. So you can see Monday and Wednesday was really great. I mean, that's where it averaged the most all uh, in Thursday. So I had this actually green color. This should be should be green too. So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, best days to trade this. Tuesdays and Fridays, not the most. Obviously, it still ended in some green days, but statistically, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday are the best. It won 49 out of 80 trades, making it a win rate of 61.25% from the 13th of February to actually now I have to update this because this is literally as of today, which is the 8th of June. Um, so from the 13th to the 8th of June, it's won a total of 1,077 pips. And I now want to show you guys some data of what are some false signals? What are some reasons of maybe why you shouldn't get into a trade? So here's one really great example where you should not use this strategy for that day is when you find two different types of breakouts happening in the London session, it, it's just indicating it's so choppy that you don't really want to get into these trades because it could just chop you out. It could stop you out. Now, obviously you could say, well, Austin, I could have got short here because it broke out of this channel. And then yeah, sure. But we want to use stats in our favor. We don't want to FOMO into trades. We want to use rules that show us long-term uh, deemed to be profitable. And while yes, you could have gambled in this one, I don't like taking these types of trades because there's it's direction one way, then a huge move to the upside the other way, then a move down. It's just, it's too choppy for me. It would, it could have easily hit your stop loss or something like that. So I just don't like these types of trades. So if you have ch like multiple channels going in different directions in London, just write it off for the day. Uh, instead of risking your capital. Another example is right here where it was operating literally <laughs> sideways. We don't as traders make money in sideways, like really tight sideways ranges markets, right? We need volatility. We need movement in some different direction. So with when you see examples like this where the channel is freaking almost parallel to each other, it's very hard to trade and it's very risky to trade. So I would just write this day off. Now, here is examples of when, like I said earlier, if you take a loss, you can get into a trade again, because I gave myself two chances in every single trade if I were to take a loss. So we seen here, it hit our stop loss, waited until price went back into range, then went again. Now here is something to really take note of. If you're taking notes, if you have something you're using this video to take notes with, I don't extend this channel to these newer lows. And I, and I know that sounds crazy. I know, I know, I know. But for some reason, natural gas really respects the channel of the London session. I, I can't, I can't explain it. I don't know what the heck it is. I don't know what its deal is. That's just what happens. Like if I extended this channel to these lo new, newer lows here, this trade wouldn't have even presented itself. But all I did was I wait until price gets back into that channel. So obviously this wouldn't have been a play because price didn't close back inside the channel. Came back up, came back out, boom, went short as soon as it closed outside that London channel. And sure enough, it hit, hit profit. Another example here uh, for a long example of literally just that one, right? It closed out, closed out and broke above that channel, hit stop loss, didn't hit full take profit, came back in the channel instead of extending it came out, broke, hit, take profit, made up that loss plus net profit. So that's why, again, you got to be okay hitting your stop loss and taking losses as a beginner trader. That's something you have to learn to do. Um, here's another great example of that same short uh, we just talked about is it, we hit stop loss. Now you'd be like, well, Austin is closed. Yes, but look how crazy of a doji candle that is. Like there's no candle body there. That's not confident. I don't like that. So I wouldn't consider that price coming back up, closing. And even right here, there's just a lot of, sometimes you just have to have like that mental awareness of what the heck's going on. So I wouldn't have taken that short and then it came back, look at that, broke, closed, take profit. Um, here's another example where these were weak closes. So I wanted to use this as an example of what are some like weak examples of like when price closes super strong. So you see how like pretty much this entire candle took up this channel there's possibly going to be a retracement happening, right? Like price doesn't just move in one way and you're just going to take a short and it's going to immediately move in your favor. And in this example, as soon as it had this huge bearish uh, candle taken up that entire channel's width, and that had this really small candle with w uh, this really big wick on the bottom uh, that's smaller than the top, that's just not a valid trade in my opinion. And again, these are very scenario based that it's hard to like standardize. That's why I'm showing you guys these screenshots. Then it slowly bleeds out of that channel. I don't like this type of action. It's really wicky. It can get you stopped out. If you got here, you could have stopped out. If you got here, you could have got stopped out. So I just wanted 
a really nice close below that channel, okay? And that's what we've seen here. We've seen a really nice bearish candle close. Then I got in and, you know, full take profit right there, done for the day. Another example of, you know, we had a nice close, close strong, hit take profit. That's no big deal. It's what happened. Closed inside the channel, came back, broke up below the channel again, full take profit, almost got our stop loss, but not really. And then this is just another added layer of proof. I wanted to show you guys how great this strategy is. So as you all know, in trading view, you can only go back so many uh, when, when you use the replay function to like back test. So I went back as far as possible. And then when I hit the replay button, so if you look here, what I'm talking about is if you want to do the replay function to like back test, right? On my current plan, I can only go back so far. So if I go back as far as I can, which is right here, if I click the replay button, I get another bonus. What is it like 200 candles, 2000 candles, whatever. So I took and I went back here and you see all these channels. I went back here as far as I literally could. And that's where a lot of the data is coming from. So this, I just literally as a bonus to you guys to show transparency of how great this strategy is. I, I did a back testing results with the uh, trading view when I could do that. And even then it showed a 51% success rate with uh, don't pay attention to the profit and cash because I don't even know what the starting balance is to show you like what percentage that is. <laughs> so just pay attention. Like you can see here, it was a 51% win rate. It did come out profitable with, you know, starting at zero, which coincides with if you have even more data here, even more data is 61.25% win rate with, uh, you know, obviously net profit pips. So this strategy is very, very good, statistically backed, and it's very profitable. So there's the video, guys. I really hope this helps you and just, you know, use it, back test it, confirm for yourself. Don't you listen to anybody on YouTube and just take that and run with it. Like still, let this build you a foundation, okay? Because none of this is financial advice. And then go and implement it yourself and kind of test yourself, do your own research, find what works for you. Maybe you find that a two risk reward ratio is better for how you like to trade, whatever. But this is the data for exactly what I went over. So please drop a like if you found this video helpful. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay grinding on your goals and never let anyone tell you that you can't do something they have never done themselves. And I will see you later.